Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the Demi Racing team leader here at Demotford University, and I'm on my placement year on mechanical engineering. Today, we're going to have a look around our facilities, both Demi Racing and for the mechanical engineering workshop, and see how it is that we build our car. So, it's a 2019 Demi Racing car. It was built here in house by uh, Demotford University students from Wealth and Courses and the Faculty of Computing Engineering and Media. It placed 23rd at the 2019 Formula UK competition at Silverstone. Most of it was built in this room and the room adjacent to it, all by uh, students and with big help from the technicians and faculty staff. So this is the, where the journey begins. So this is the, the big welding bay. We have facilities for TIG and MIG welding. And this is where the chassis sort of comes to life. This is our 2017 engine. I mean, exploded thing as demonstration purposes. Uh, so you can see the, the gearbox, the clutch pad, you can see the, the head and the fans in it. This is the sort of formal student area within the mechanical engineering workshop and this is where all the general assembly goes on. But first and foremost, this is where all of our computer aided design happens and all of our simulation. So this is a um, 3D printer, it's one of our rapid prototyping machines that we use uh, to create sort of prototypes for the, uh, of parts for the car and some also final designs. At the moment it's actually 3D printing the parts to make another 3D printer. This year along uh, for the past three years we've been uh, heavily supported by Caterpillar UK. Uh, they not only sponsor us but it's a technical partnership. So uh, first of all they funded our 10 inch wheels, that's 3,000 euros worth and we're very grateful for them. But really the most important thing is that they sort of work directly with the students, they support them uh, throughout their projects, uh, they support the team leader as well, uh, they do a lot of help with sort of business and cost side of things as well as manufacturing training. So after that we move on to this area of the workshop which is the machine area. Uh, so we have some more general purpose areas, the student projects, um, some small aids, we have a, a technician operated but students can learn how to use these one on one. Uh, this is a, a CNC lathe used to create a quite large component of the car. And then moving down here, we have three axis mill. Uh, this is operated by a technician, but again, students can have one to one uh, sort of tuition on how to use it. They can learn how to program it. And in fact, we have two graduates who now uh, operate these within their day to day jobs in, in industry. Uh, here we have three sort of industrial size uh, lathes. Uh, they're used for turning a lot of the manual components that aren't as complex that they require computer. What we use the lathes for is we turn our stuff like these stub axles that's done on the CNC lathe. Uh, we make our gear shifter on a, on, on a lathe. Uh, lots of really small components like little spacers and shims and stuff we can make on here as well. Here, this spins really, really fast and you can sort of make cuts around it and make it the size you want, put features in it, indentation, whatever you need. We have to use what's called PPE for 90% uh, of what we do, whether that's uh, eye protection, whether that's clothing protection, uh, gloves for face visors, it could be anything. Um, yeah, definitely safety is the most important thing we're working here. So here there's more sort of general workshop area, and here we have two uh, industrial sized mills. These are manual mills, uh, one of them is programmable. And we have all of our sort of stock of materials, uh, some grinders, machinery for, for cutting down tubes, etc. That's everything.